Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for BTW 21 News. Louise from Mary greeting you. We hope that you have enjoyed your week thus far. And as always, we thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to be here with us as we keep you updated with some of the things and, and catch up on some of the things that occurred this weekend and possibly last week as, again, it's been very busy. So some things take a little bit of time for us to be able to bring to you. But as always, everything that we share here on our newscast every single day is shared online first. Let's start off with news in Henry County, where we understand that two individuals have been charged after a pursuit ended with an officer being hurt. A Martin's pursuit ended with a crash on Sunday evening. The Martin's Police Department says it received an alert that a Nissan Altima coming through the city was stolen from Danville. Officers attempted to stop the Nissan after it was spotted on Memorial Boulevard as it was going towards Commonwealth Boulevard, but the vehicle fled to Lowe's Home Improvement. Police said as the vehicle was headed back towards Memorial Boulevard, it lost control, hit a white Ford Ranger in the rear, then struck a streak bank and flipped over. Officers ordered the occupants of the vehicle out. Three were detained, and the fourth suspect, Janez Harrison, 20 of Danville, got out of the vehicle and fled on foot. An officer grabbed Harrison as he ran by, and a struggle ensued, dislocating the officer's finger, according to police. Authorities said Harrison was gripping a bag at the time of his arrest that contained three firearms, one of which had the serial numbers filed off. The Nissan was driven by a 70-year-old juvenile from Danville who was charged with felony attempt to elude possession of stolen property and driving without a license and was sent to W.W. Moore Detention Center. Hairston was charged with obstruction of justice, three counts of illegal possession of concealed weapon, remove slash alter serial numbers on a firearm, and assault on a law enforcement officer. The three other passengers were taken into custody, interviewed, and released to relatives. The Sheriff's Department and the Public Safety Department from Henry County responded. The Virginia State Police is investigating the crash. Now for that story that I mentioned to you that happened on last Tuesday, we want to update you in regards to a Commonwealth Business Center sharing agreement, and we know now that it has been revised. Here's an in-depth on this story. The Henry County Board of Supervisors Industrial Development Authority of Henry County and Martinsville City Council voted to revise the Commonwealth Crossing Business Center Revenue Sharing Agreement during a joint meeting at the Harvest Foundation on Tuesday. Today was a good step uh, in the process of uh, collaboration between the county and the city. It was also an opportunity to uh, secure an additional $6 million from the Harvest Foundation to help the grading project on Lot 2 at Commonwealth Crossing Business Center. The first revision will split the original agreement into two separate agreements for the CCBC and the land adjacent to Patriot Center, commonly referred as to the Bryant property. I think with this agreement, what will happen is something that the city is very interested in seeing, and that's revenue that actually comes back to the community from the revenue sharing agreement will occur quicker. The second revision directs a portion of the tax revenue generated from lot number two of the CCBC to the Martinsville Henry County Economic Development Corporation for future marketing, recruitment, and development activities. Track two is a huge track. It's rail sided uh, and it has the potential of some investment probably anywhere between half a billion to well over a billion. So when you look at that and you think about the taxes that a, a, a project of that size would generate, the revenue that would come back to both the city and the county, and now even to the EDC, would be substantial from that. So it helps get revenue quicker. The original revenue sharing agreement was finalized in 2007 with the understanding that the city and the county were responsible for all of the expenses related to the development of the parks. We stood a better chance by having that revenue sharing agreement to get money from the Tobacco Commission back in the day, the Commonwealth of Virginia, and the Harvest Foundation. Both localities would split taxes generated in the parks and the IDA would own the land. Under the process of securing grant funds for additional grading on lot number two 
of CCBC. It was requested that the agreement be split due to the development of the CCBC moving faster than that at the Bryant property. Martinsville Vice Mayor Aaron Rawls told BTW 21 News he and Mayor L.C. Jones made the request to do things in a way that would best benefit citizens. When asked if actions like this one taken on Tuesday would help the city avoid reversion, Terniki said, I think absolutely. Officials said it was also determined that relying on the grant funds was not a sustainable plan to ensure adequate funding for future development of the sites. The agreement will be forwarded to the Commission on Local Government for its review and assurance of findings of fact. Continuing to talk about news in the city of Martinsville, there is an interim city manager, in case you missed that story online as well, and his name is Glenn Adams. Again, he will be the Martinsville interim city manager as current city manager Leon Ternicki will retire in just a few days on August 1st. The city says Adams will serve as a bridge between city managers while the nationwide search for a permanent replacement is underway. And I'll quote, I am deeply honored to contribute to the city of Martinsville and its remarkable community as I serve my role in the process to select the best person to move the city forward, Adams said. Adams brings more than 25 years of military experience and nearly 20 years of non-military management experience it released from the city set. He has previously held positions as city manager for Santa Fe, Texas, and as interim city manager for the town of Perseville. The Berkeley Group has contracted Adams on a month-to-month -month basis for a minimum of three months with the goal of filling the position by October. Now, for a story, I uh, just want to warn you, you're not, you know, this is not deja vu. It is a reschedule because Movies in the Park has been rescheduled to this Friday. Henry County Parks and Recreation will continue the series this summer that was planned, again rescheduled to this Friday, with the second movie, and it will feature DC Leagues of Super Pets. As I mentioned to you uh, last week, the movie is shown next to the Picnic Shelter at Jack Dalton Park, and admission is free. Music and games will start at 7.30, and the movie will start at around 9 p.m. Candy, snacks, water, soda, and other items will be available for purchase if the parking lot at the park is full, you can park at the administration building parking lot and access the park using the steps behind the administration building. If you have additional information needs, you can contact the Henry County Parks and Recreation. Head on over to btw21.com for that information. And of course, uh, you need to bring your lawn chair or a nice blanket that you can lay and watch a DC of uh, DC League of Super Pets is what I'm trying to say. I almost forgot the name there. But, of course, a lot more that we have to get to. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Uh, thank some of those that make this newscast possible. And we'll be right back. What's up, man? Yo, so I sort of did a thing. Are you talking about that one thing thing or that other thing? No, not that thing. This thing. Jeez. I can't believe they gave you financing. Autos by Nelson has access to a bunch of lenders with guaranteed credit approval. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and they double your warranty. Man, I want one of those. Autos by Nelson. Stop by any of our dealerships today or visit us online. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing, so give Frill Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Hello, hello everybody. 
happy Tuesday, and as always, thank you for tuning in to your BTW 21 News Forecast. I'm your local weather woman, Shania Dalton. As you all have seen on yesterday and today, the Canadian smoke is back. Again, as you see on your screen, what, who this impacts and what does it mean? So it impacts outdoor workers, older individuals, teens, and young children. Um, some people might actually gain a slight cough and have some breathing issues or make these breathing issues worse than what they were or are because of this poor air quality. So I suggest that you should limit your time outdoors and your outside activities and your exercise that you may do outside. As you can see on this next slide here, um, our air quality is around 131 and when it's good, it's around 34. So that means beware of being outside. It is gonna clear out a bit tomorrow once that rain and the clouds and the winds come in on tomorrow. So just a reminder folks to be wary of these low and poor air quality that we have here in Martinsville, Henry County. However, let's look at this evening's forecast. 5 p.m., partly cloudy at 88 degrees. 8 p.m., we're going to get some more clouds coming in at mostly cloudy at 81 degrees. And at 11 p.m., it's going to be mostly cloudy at 74 with the sunset at 8.36 p.m. All right, looking at tonight, 20% chance of rain, mainly cloudy. There's a slight chance for a shower. And those winds are going to be around 3 miles per hour. Boonsville at 69, Rocky Mount at 69, Ferrum at 68, Oak Level at 67, Woolwan at 69, Martinsville at 67, Ridgeway 68, Stewart at 68, and Ararat at 69 for tonight. So it's going to be quite nice. Uh, there is a chance for some rain. Very is not a high chance, but like I said, that 20% is there for tonight. Looking at tomorrow, Wednesday's forecast, there is going to be some PM thunderstorms on tomorrow. 50% chance with those west, south, west southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 86, Rocky Mount at 85, Fairmont at 84, Oklahoma at 84, Wilmot 84. Stewart at 85, Martinsville at 84, Ridgeway 86, and Air Ride at 84. So we're going to be in the mid to upper 80s on tomorrow. So it's going to be kind of cool. But tomorrow for the rating, it's going to be a 5 out of 10. Yes, it's going to be 85 for the high. Then the low is going to be a 67. Like I said, thunderstorms will be developing in the afternoon on tomorrow. Storms may contain some gusty winds, so be prepared for that as well. If you have any outside furniture that you may have, some chairs, you might want to put them up safely or put them in your house so they won't go flying everywhere. Like I said, rain chance for tomorrow is at a 50% chance. Winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunrise is going to be at 6.14 a.m. All right, let's look at our three-day forecast for the next couple of days. Yes, it's going to be some rain but we can start clearing out as you see on friday tomorrow like i said afternoon thunderstorms at 50 percent 85 for the high tomorrow night gonna be 67 we got that 30 percent chance but it's gonna start clearing out around midnight so it's gonna be mainly cloudy on tomorrow night thursday more afternoon thunderstorms at 50 percent 88 for the high on Thursday, moving into Thursday night. It's going to be partly cloudy, not as much clouds as, as expected as tomorrow night at 69 degrees, 20% chance of rain. And on Friday, it's going to be mostly sunny. As I said, it's going to start clearing out to be a great weekend. Just a quick wrap up. The air quality is going to get a bit better on tomorrow with that rain and the winds coming in on tomorrow. So be prepared for that on tomorrow afternoon and Thursday as well for those thunderstorms. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and stay tuned for more BTW 21 News after this.
Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zip My Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276 647 Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Hey guys, this is Amy with Homes by Amy and Company, Keller Williams of Martinsville. We proudly serve Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, and surrounding areas. We enjoy helping purchasers find their dream home. We offer staging services to anyone who may need it, and we take pride in selling our listings quickly and getting our clients the most return for their investment. My team and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making us number one real estate firm locally. We are here for all of your real estate needs. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BTW 21 News as always. Thank you very much for staying along with us. It is now time for your Quam Report, and as always, we thank Apex Bell Bonds for sponsoring that. Tanya Dickerson, 48, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Willie Farrell, 70, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with driving while intoxicated, second within less than five years. Tommy Marlowe, 42, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with grand larceny, $1,000 or more, not from person, Burglary of dwelling to commit other felony, intentionally damage any property, possession schedule one or two drugs, hit and run, driver fails to report, and simple assault on law enforcement, fire rescue personnel. 
Ashanti Moore, 20, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with intentionally damaging any property and simple assault. Jeffrey Bowling, 58, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with driving while intoxicated, first conviction. Amanda Mullen, 40, of Philadelphia, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Timothy Harris, 44, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with simple assault and probation violation felony. Bahamas Snow Shack, what can we get for you? Bahamas Snow Shack is Henry County's shaved ice vendor. With hundreds of flavor combinations to choose from, there is something sure to satisfy your taste. Located at 3161 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville and open daily from noon to nine. Stop by and find your flavor. You know where to get them big old tars and lift kits? Where's that? Down there at that PVT. Really? They got big tars, they got small tars, they even got medium-sized tars. And they got the best prices too. PVT Express 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-8771. We are accepting new patients at Sova Internal Medicine of Martinsville. Our providers, along with their team, apply clinical expertise to the diagnosis, treatment, and compassionate care for patients 14 and up. There are many services provided such as annual physicals, women's health, geriatrics, primary and preventative care, management of chronic illnesses, minor procedures, and immunizations and vaccines. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sova Internal Medicine of Martinsville is located at 319 Hospital Drive Suite 202, Martinsville, Virginia. Call at 276-666. 0452 or visit sowerphysicians.com slash eternal medicine. Welcome back and again thank you very much for your continued company and our lineup it is now time for your daily obituaries and as always these are presented by our friends at Bassett Funeral Service. Thomas Eugene Sifford, 80, of Bassett, passed away Tuesday, July the 11th, 2023. The funeral service was held at 2 p.m. Friday, July the 14th, at Fairview Baptist Church. Visitation was one hour prior to that service. Noise Funeral Services in Martinsville is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting noisefuneral.com. 
Fannie Mae Ferris Ramey, 83, of Martinsville, passed away Tuesday, July the 11th, 2023. The funeral was held Monday, July the 17th at 11.30 a.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation was held 30 minutes prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Paul Sampson Wimbush, 64, of Martinsville, transitioned to eternal life Tuesday, July 11, 2023. A visitation service will be held Thursday, July the 20th at 11.30 a.m. The funeral service will be at 12 noon at Greater Love Ministries in Martinsville. Public viewing will be held Wednesday, July the 19th at Hurston Funeral Home from 1 to 5 p.m. Scott Bradley Stevenson, 53, of Martinsville, passed away Monday, July the 17th, 2023. All services will be private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Darrell B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in as 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. Smith River Jam, Saturday, August the 5th at the Smith River Sports Complex, 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Live bands like Muddy Creek Revival, Andy Barnett Trio, The Legion of Ordinary Gentlemen, and Turn It Up Band. Tickets only $25, food vendors and great music. Don't forget about the cruise-in cars. Trucks and bikes are welcome. All this August the 5th at the Smith River Sports Complex, 1000 Irishburg Road, Axton, Virginia. So that wraps it up here for my uh, time on this Tuesday edition of our newscast. As always, thank you very much for your company today. Stay tuned. There's 30 minutes of news coming up after this message. And one more quick reminder, head on over to YouTube.com slash BTW21 for your chance to win a $100 gas gift card once we reach 100 subscribers. And I believe that we are very close. I believe 970. So best of luck. We'll see you tomorrow. 
September 20th through the 23rd, it's the Henry County Fair. There's games, music rides, and prizes. There's fair fun for everyone. Wednesday and Thursday, 5 till 10, Friday, 5 to 11, and Saturday, noon till 11. All this going on September 20th through the 23rd at the Martinsville Speedway. Visit henrycountyvafair.com for tickets and additional.